Best unlikely to play on a banjo anyway, probably. <laughs> There's still a banjo. There's still a banjo. guitar, classical guitar, nylon strung, and uh, see if you couldn't convert one. If you were a jazz musician, I mean, you'd love this. Oh, you really would. I mean, you, oh, walking, oh, and you'd really be able to use it. <laughs> um, not just noodling about with a bit of blues. You'd be able to do it for real. Honestly, I mean, you've got to try. Not that if you're a jazz man or woman, uh, that you'd be anywhere near this jazz woman. <laughs> but I mean, you know, if you know one, if you know one, let them know. Give, give them a hint. Pass the word. Spread the love. Hey. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, you don't actually have to make your own guitar in order to enjoy the fun and benefit of having all nylon strings on your banjos and guitars, but particularly on your guitars, because you can always adapt an existing guitar. You can see that I have put those lovely thick nylon strings on this one, and done away with all the windings, with all the windings on the strings. So there's none of that metallic clang and the sound of you fretting, you know, all that sort of rasping as you're fretting, moving your fingers about along the strings. Um, it's all lovely and smooth and mellow. Uh, yeah, so, you know, you could do that. You could get some old cheap. And they are cheap. I mean, I think there's too many guitars, possibly. You can certainly get an awful lot for your money. And you could pick something up for 20 quid, 25 quid. It was perfectly reasonable. I'll sell you something for 25 quid. <laughs> it was perfectly reasonable that you could then uh, adapt and have fun and play with and you really not lost much. And you could always put it back as it was if you discovered that you didn't really enjoy it and then get your money back. Uh, this was never going to sound that great anyway because the soundboard is made of plywood um, and therefore it has limited tonal qualities. <laughs>